I have, oh no, sorry, I just realised that's not very good, so let's just try and change the angle, sorry about that. I thought I had it set up and it just decided to change. So anyway, Nikki here, Smurfy Swan, one, oh crumb, shall I start again? Hello everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. Um, I do apologise if I'm not with it, um, health hasn't been very good, I've been struggling the last few days with one thing and another. So if I do make any blips or my speech goes a bit funny then just bear with me so i'm here i think it's week 14 of my stash busting and i really like hunky dory but i'm being really good in my craft room now that um i have like say a box or a drawer and that's say it's for something um like like the hunky dory, I have a drawer just for men's hunky dory, and once it's full, I can't buy any more. So I'm being really good like that. Otherwise, it get like it did last time, where I sort of just carry on buying stuff when money allows, and it just gets out of hand, and then I stop enjoying my crafting. Well, I say I enjoy it, but I get more stressed about it. So where I'm moving things round, I'm actually thinking to myself, right, if it's in that box. That is it. That is as much stuff of that item I can have. So I'm being really good. So I thought this week I would play with some men's cards using up the last of my Hunky Dory men, man's kit. I can't remember which one it was, but it had like for all different ages. So I've just gone through, prepped the stuff like I normally do. And I just thought I'd come on and make it all with you. So I'm just going to take that out of there. So I've got that one, which is a little tag. And then there's that one. And something I do need to get, because I don't think I've got it. So just bear with me. Because I've got to try and remember which drawer it is in as well. So, and then I've got a tab here that's got like all my um, mail theme messages. So I'm just going to stick that one directly onto there. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, I am just going to get my um, ink pads out because I might want them. Sorry, I should have thought of that before I started, but I didn't. Like I said, I'm not with it. It's, um, yeah, my health just hasn't been very good at all the last few weeks. Sleep patterns worse than normal. Um, yeah, I've just been struggling. I won't go into it too much but yeah it's just been a tough few days so I am um, thought I'd come down come come down come and um sit down in here and make some cards and have a chat to you all um for one thing the weather is really horrid I've even got the heating on a little bit today which is not quite what I was hoping to do in May but um I just can't be cold for um so I think I was gonna put some twine through that and I think yeah I think I'm still gonna do that. So where have I put my twine? Uh, where is my twine? So I haven't got green twine, I've got a blue, but there's a bit of blue in there. Yeah, I just a bit like I said, I've been moving stuff that's not gonna cut that. Been me moving stuff around to my craft room, and it's just I'm trying to remember where I've moved things to. And it's still, um, the craft room's almost how I want it. There are certain things that are definitely where I want them to be. There's a few things I will have to um, tweak later on, sort of thing. So I'm just put some twine through there, and I'm just going to make a little bow, but it's easier for me to do that off camera so um yeah so I've nearly got the craft room how I want it let's just trim those um there's a few things definitely where I want them to be and then I'm just going to pop that there and I'm going to use some foam tape or pads let's use these um Sorry, I must stop saying them. I said that most weeks, but I can't. I think it's when I'm tired and stuff, and 
maybe I should try and do these videos when I'm not tired but as I'm permanently tired at the moment it could be a long way so that's just going to go there so I'm just keeping these very simple um, some of these are going to be for my own use some again will be for charity so I've just done that little one I'm not going to put a message on that because I think that's just enough yeah, so um, craft room is getting there. Uh, I just need to save up and I want to get one more unit and then I can take stuff out, move it around again and go from there. So I've just got that one. And if you've never had Hunky Dory before, uh, they have a sheet. So like there's um, part of this which might just be a little bit of a border on one side or something so they're really handy if you cut them down you can use that as a complete topper or you can obviously make a card and stuff I think that's why I might go around this one with some green I think that's why I like hunky dory so much that if you're a beginner it's great because you can think of it you can sort of just fold it in half and stick one of the toppers on. If you've been crafting a while, um, like myself, then I um, obviously think of chopping it up and making different folds and stuff. But which I love. I love doing it. I love. Sometimes I want to stamp and do a load of stuff that way. Other times I just want to get a card kit out and you know make something quick and simple it just depends I think that's what I love about card making that you can I'm get my card in that. you can mix it to however you're feeling so if you want to do something really fancy you can if you want to keep it simple then that's fine so I've now got my ink pads in this drawer um, and my small um round acrylic block mum actually came up with that she was helping me move some stuff around my craft room and I was like oh they're not going to fit in that drawer like that so she said oh what about putting them in the box because I don't have that many ink pads I love ink pads I think they're great right I'm going to just move that again but I think I'll just chuck that on the floor so that is just going to go on there and having that before I stick it down having the green round there just makes it pop a bit more so if you don't want to put a whole load of paper down then ink round the edge and it just makes it look like there's another layer but it still keeps it quite flat because I'm not sure if I've mentioned before but um, I find when you make cards for charity like if I give it to the hospitals or charity shops and when I used to work in the charity shops I found it was the flatter cards that sold more because obviously postage is a pig which I know I've mentioned before so I'm just going to find a message to pop on there let's pop that up there oh craft desk is getting a real good mess I thought I thought when I did these I got the messages out to start with so I'm just looking at another one obviously I didn't then I might have done for something else when I was doing it because I did make some men's cards when I couldn't sleep one night. So, as I'm what that one I really like, and I probably am going to keep this one for myself. No, that's too big. Oh, that was made for me in some Happy Mail. I think um, Julie made that one from Olivia's craft boutique. So, sorry, I'm having a rummage. Sorry. Fast forward if you want. I won't, hopefully I won't be too long, I roughly know, just trying to find a message, can't be that difficult, I'm sure I got them all out, but obviously I did not, which is a bit of a pain, let's have, oh that'll do, birthday wishes, let's move that again out of my way, craft death, I don't know about you, but it doesn't matter how much room you try and plan to craft on there's never never enough space but I'm absolutely I mean I've always loved my craft room but now I'm getting it organized and I don't plan to move from here for a well I hope to never move from here because I love my where I am now it's lovely 
it's nice peaceful so just like I said simple little cards just using up bits um yeah I love my craft room so I'm hoping to get it completely how I want and I'm just hoping I never have to move again <laughs> because it has just been such um a pain to do but once you get a craft room sorted every time I've virtually got it sorted I've moved for one reason or another so I really don't want to move from here again so I've got this paper not paper card and it's got like the cards on the bottom and then these little toppers if I do one at a time it'll be easier these little toppers so there's a cream one and a green one and they're like little minis which is quite apt as my dad works with minis I'm just going to get that pad up again and I think I'm going to use blue this time me being me it's got to be blue so I'm using the memento dew drops that I had given to me from oh I can't remember what company now but it was a company and I brought one of the die cuts and it just didn't cut so I emailed them this was ages ago so I might have mentioned it once um back then anyway I had a problem with the die emailed them well Facebook them and they were really good they said give us the item number blah 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 um and stuff and they sent me the replacement die but not only did they send me the replacement die, as an apology, they sent me all those ink pads, which I think was really sweet of them. You know, they could have just replaced the die, but they actually um, did seem to care about their customers, so it's really sweet. So that's just going to go on there. I'm being lazy today, and I'm just using, just using my tape. Normally I would use a wet glue, but I'm feeling a bit lazy, so yes. So I hope the weather's not been too bad with you, but I think most of the UK is going to be wet and horrible today, which unfortunately I had to get the washing done all in tours, which is um, typical. So I'm just going to use some foam pads on the back of my minis. Yeah, so I was saying my dad um, works with minis. He likes, he's... Um, not not the run of your meal sort of engineer he's more technical and stuff he builds engines and stuff very talented man i'm not saying that just because he's my dad he is very talented in his field um so yeah minis are quite <laughs> apt for him really so i think i'm gonna pop that one i'm hoping i'm staying in front so let me just check yep i am i might just come in a little bit let me just tilt you a bit and I'm hoping I'm not going to make anybody feel too sick that's a bit better yeah so I'm still getting used to this this one I think I might put the cream one down there my dad's actually um got a well this is like a cream one but he's got a white one that he does his hill climbs um hill climbs and sprints in so um might have to keep this card from him and then I've got this one saying, you're a classic, which I think is quite sweet. So a little road sign. And I think I will use foam pads again for that. I've got some foam tape somewhere, but I don't know. Well, I know where it is. I'm just too... I'll get it in a minute. So that can just tuck behind there. So then we've got our little car one. Yeah, so I think Hunky Dory are great. I must... Um, next time I'm at the range with mum is ask her ah there's the phone tape is ask her to take me to the range someone I need to go there anyway because I need to get some blinds for for the kitchen because when it is sunny it gets really hot in there which is which would be too much for Lexi so I've got to go there get a couple of blinds and maybe if mummy allows get a couple of um crafty bits because i also need to go to a shop that's called or oh, what's it called it's not Wil yeah i think i want to say wilkinson's but it's not i think it's wicks and anyway there are like builders site that one's not lying flat so let's just get my bowl forward. um i need i want to get a shower um a tap but with the shower attachment for the bath 
So this one I only had that little bit left and that topper. So I'm sort of going to do something a bit different. Probably something like that and maybe a message there. And I think I'm just going to get some buttons. So just bear with me while I get there. Ugh. And I'm probably going to add some buttons. Sorry, that made a real clank when I put that down. Yeah, I was starting to say... Start, oh yeah, um, so I want to get um, a tap with the shower for the bath. Because I have got a shower, but there's times when I just can't stand up and all I want to do is just freshen up my hair. So that'll make life easier. So that's going to probably go there. So I might just ink, um, get a bit of ink to go around the edge. I'm not sure if I've got a brown ink in this or not. I know I've got a light brown, but I think... Oh, no, so it to be the light brown. I just want to go around the edge of that just to give it a bit of interest. So I'm not going to use the ink pad. Um, I mean, I'm not going to use the sponge this time. I'm just going to get the ink pad and just rub around it. I'm not going to worry if it doesn't go... Perfect, because for a man's card, I think it's nice to have it a bit distressed. That just gives something. Yeah, the Memento Dewdrops, they are so nice to work with. They're lovely. I really like them. So, um, and now they're in my little box. It makes life a lot easier. So that is just going to go there. So let's get the other tape, the normal tape. Yeah, so just, if you've got bits left over from a kit, if you don't want to make a card, um, make tags or something, I really hate wasting stuff. In fact, I will just show you quickly. This is just like a, a cardboard, cardboard pot, so my brain just went there. And like, I keep loads of, like there's bits from die cuts, um, things from projects and I just keep it all in there and then that obviously goes to my mixed media projects so I really don't put that much stuff out for recycling I um, really do like to get my money's worth out of something so that's going to go there and I'm going to put that flat I think and it's already got a message on so it says just for you but it was a really nice kit it had like stuff that cards could give to their dads um it had a real nice mixture in it but um oops, didn't put that on. oh well it's just gonna have to be wonky but i'm just gonna use some buttons just for a bit of embellishment i don't want to go too big but i just feel I want something there and then. I mean, if it was a female card, then obviously I would have put bling. I'm going to put three there and three there, because obviously the rule is, well, it's not a rule, but it's sort of the thing that you, um, come here, do three and three. So I'm not too worried about the sizes. Oh, that's too big. I'm not worried, but I don't want them all massive. And then I just keep my buttons in these old jars. Um, so if you are looking for storage ideas, I will try and mention stuff like this. Because um, I know there's people new to crafting and stuff. But yeah, just keep jars. This is actually a Yankee can candle jar. Because I used to get Yankee candles quite often. But then when Lexi came along, it wasn't practical. And obviously with my drops, it's not practical to have candles because I don't want to risk um, you know knocking it over or anything so I can't really have candles anymore which <laughs> I suppose in a, in a good way saves me money because I used to um, be quite bad at with QVC so I'm going oh new candles I was going to put three along there but I think I'm going to change my mind and do something up there because the idea I had isn't going to look quite right so they're just going to go in a clump there and then we'll do a little clump there yeah so I used to get quite a lot of Yankee candles but uh, like with my health not being so good and Lexi and stuff it just wasn't wasn't a practical option so it now gives me more money well not more money the money I spent on that to get crafty stuff and I get, I don't always buy the 
buttons that you know you're meant to get like the proper craft ones I take it off tops um, charity shops so yeah that card it's not my favorite sort but I'm sure it appealed to somebody so let me just get rid of this little bit of rubbish before I start on the next card yeah so um I don't want to be teaching anybody how to suck eggs I know I've mentioned that a few times I just come on because I enjoy my crafting and I want to play and I think why not come on and have a chat so I'm just going to go around this one with actually um, a, a marker so it's the Spectrum Noir TB9 wrong end you can guarantee whatever end lid I take off would be the wrong end <laughs> So I'm just going to go around this one. This is just some coordinations. It's the white one. And then if you sanded it back, that would come through. But I'm not actually going to do that. I didn't have any black card, but I thought the blue with the sort of grey colour and stuff would go. So I think I pretty much have used up all my Hunky Dory Man's kit. So yes, I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled I'm I would love to be able someone to place an order direct with hunky dory because they've got some lovely stuff out and now I don't know if anybody has been on there but on hunky dory site they don't just do hunky dory items they do other companies crafters companion do that so in a way it's quite nice that these companies now don't just have their items they have a mixture so like I set myself a budget, which I've mentioned before, each month. And it's nice if I want a range of stuff, I can just go to that site and get a mixture rather than going, oh, I've got to buy a bit from there, I've got to buy a bit from there. So in a way, it's better for me because I don't, I don't spend so much then because I think to myself, well... If I order just from them, that is it. This one has cheers to you, so I won't need a sentiment for that. And I'm going to go like that. But that one I'm going to definitely put with the foam pad just to give it a bit of dimension. Whoops. Um, and I've been good because I've already got the stuff prepped for next week. So it won't be cards next week. It will be um, gift bags. So, yes, I'm afraid it'll be back to Christmas next week, but with gift bags, because I've actually run out of my pre-made card bases, and I'm a bit low on actual cardstock to make my own size. So, the next couple of weeks or so are going to be... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to check the camera. Um, I know I'm near the end, but I just want to check it. It looked like it had moved, but maybe it's just my eyesight. Yes, so the next couple of weeks are going to be different things, not necessarily cards or things that might be making embellishments. Just different stuff until I can get either some more A4 card, because I'm quite happy to make my own envelopes, or I have got some envelopes and then I can make the card to size. Yeah, so I'm a bit limited there. So, um, yeah, you'll get a break from the cards. So, just before I go, I will refresh the cards that I've just done. So, we've done that one. Hold on, let me just change, move the chair, and I will just try and sort out the camera angle a bit so you can see a bit better. So, we've got... It's a bit close. Let me come out a bit. That's, yeah, that's better. So we got that one, and we did that one with the buttons and stuff. Mini one, and the boot, and the garden one. So thank you very much for watching. Let's just change you so you're not just looking at something weird. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks to any new subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and I will sus subscribe back. Leave a comment. I reply to all comments. And thank you yet again for watching. Hope the rest of the week's fine for you. Bye.